Yabsley. BBC Radio Bristol. Hello and welcome to Thursday's programme. Steve Yabsey with you through till two. My guests today, two of them, Paul Carroll and Jane Gilchrist. Now, a few years ago, Jane was involved in a programme on Channel 4 called Opportunity, where they were looking for a new opera star. Ah, And she won that. And uh, she was on television and went on to perform a lot. Paul, meanwhile, is involved in theatricals in lots of ways. He's been a director, performer himself, and he's written this musical comedy about Clevedon Pier. Excellent. What a great idea that is. And it's all professional and everything. It's going to be staged next year in Clevedon. So this is a bit of what you might call pre-publicity. Mm, yeah. And uh, they've got uh, rehearsals going on over the next year or so. We'll hear all about it when Paul and Jane join me on the show. Jane's going to appear in it, you see. Ah, right, OK. Yeah, and Paul is involved with the writing and the directing. It's just turned 25 minutes to one. Let's welcome to the studio my two lovely guests. It's uh, Paul Carroll and Jane Gilchrist. Hello there. Hello, Hi, hello. Are you two married? Yes, yeah, we, we are now. Yeah. So I'm Jane Carroll now. Mm. <laughs> we, got, we got engaged in here. Or yeah. This, this office. Yes, he really? proposed to me in the other office, but yeah. Well, wasn't it a good job you accepted? Yes, it was. It would have been a bit awkward. It would have been awkward, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now Paul has written a musical about Clevedon Pier, which I think is such a fantastic idea. It's called The Pier, a musical comedy through time, and you've got plenty of opportunity to uh, hear all about it, because it's not actually going to be staged till next year, but we'll give you all the details in a moment. But before we talk about the musical and all that that entails, let's just get a bit of personal background on the pair of you. Um, Tell me, before you ever met Jane, a little bit about your background, Paul. What have you been involved with over the years? I've been involved with Gilbert and Sullivan and shows. I've directed lots of shows, 25 odd over the years. You started off in Amdram at the age of 15. Yeah, I was. Trading the boars, youngster. Gosh, what were you doing in those early days Uh, then? That was was GNS, that was Gilbert and Sullivan. HMS Pinafore was my first show. I was about 14 in that. So So you've been a performer and a director over the years? Well, a performer for a long time. I would say performer. I'm more chorus material. I know my own limitations. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I've been directing for quite a long time, yes. And that's rubbish too, because (laughs) he's done some stuff on the pier here. And I tell you what, he's a fantastic patterson. patterson, (laughs) He's been very modest. Well, professionally, you're director of Fursons, which is a specialist building refurbishment company, or at least part of a bigger company. Indeed. What sort of jobs do you do with them, then? Well, we've just actually started works up at RAF Line on the refurbished up there, which is a big big thing for us. And, and, not, and we've recently uh, been involved with Langer doing the uh, BRI. Oh, right, so, so you do all manner of companies, yeah. commercial properties yeah, and, and, and stately homes and things like that, do you? Well, if you know anybody with stately homes, we'd be very pleased to offer them a quotation. Yeah, yeah. so what sort of stuff do you do, then? Do you rip all the old stuff yeah. out, or is it sympathetic conversions? Uh, we can do both. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the client. <laughs> How long have you been involved with that for? 34 years. Gosh, so you've seen the industry change a I bit. I have seen it change beyond recognition, yeah. Any new materials come in that uh, have Oh, been there's a... always new materials. Every yeah. every few months there's something new you haven't well, heard it, of. It's a shame we've got rid of asbestos. But I yeah. Yeah. Was... It was yeah. a big favourite, well, wasn't it? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, when I was a child, well, not even that, oh, we had an asbestos shed in the back garden, which was my dad used to keep his sods in, and uh, I used to paint it with water because the asbestos sheeting changed colour. And you could do, <laughs> but these days, it's the dust, isn't it? It, it can is be the dust, very, yeah. Very you get uh, even a whiff of it, and they, yeah. they, they, everyone freaks. Does he talk about this at home, Jane, or do you switch Constantly. off? Oh, Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, we wish you well with that particular Thank company. And, and, Jane, people will know you, I'm sure, because you were on a TV show, a Channel 4 show a few years ago, 2003, called Opportunity. Yep. Which you won. In fact, you, you shared yes. the winning, didn't you, with another yes. lady? Yes. Uh, yeah. Just remind us what the programme was all about. Uh, well, two and a half thousand people had to audition, um, and I'd auditioned like everybody else. I went to Cardiff to do my audition, and I got through uh, with, I think it was. 20 people at the whole lot all over the country they went around to try and find people um, and we had 20 people that we, we went, then went to London and we auditioned there again they gave us music that we had to learn and then perform um, at the Coliseum we actually did that on the Coliseum stage which was fantastic uh, and then that went down to six people and I was one of six um, and we then had lots of different arias and different um, situations to perform on stage from different operas um, and we did that that was the actual big audition and I came through as the winner with uh, Denise Lee. So. And you eventually ended up playing with the English National Opera the role of Gilda. Uh, Gilda. Uh, Gilda. Uh, I beg your pardon. She, she okay. my ignorance of, of opera. <laughs> Gilda. I should have known that. The old G in the J business. Uh, Gilda in Verde's 
Rigoletto. Uh, how many times did you actually perform just, there? Just the once, just okay. the one night. Blimey, uh, Riley, what a build-up then. Yes, 20, was it 20 million? I think it was 20 no. million watching us on TV. It was um, two, but it's how many two, good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was a lot more than that. <laughs> Is it true that you were working at Tesco's at the start yes, of I the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. In what capacity? Just uh, Tesco's checkout girl, me. Blimey. <laughs> With respect to checkout girls, it seems a role that you probably could have moved on from. Um, well, you've got four children. Is that is that yes. from a previous marriage? Yes, yes, that's my yeah. first marriage. Gordon yeah. Bennett, they're all grown up a bit, are they? Yeah. Well, I've got three, and my husband's got. F got I've got four, four, and he's got three. So um, we've nice got family. seven children that's in the household. Quite we've... an expensive business. Yeah. Yeah, half of them at university <laughs> at the moment, so you're not kidding. Yeah. Blimey, Riley, you, well, you certainly won't be able to retire for some time, Paul. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, well, that must have been as an experience, though, Jane. Quite yes, an extraordinary was, thing. It's wonderful. Through. I think more than anything else is I've got two CDs that one's called Opportunity the Winners album and um the other one's called Vocalies, which is a solo album. And I think what's nice is that I've got it for my grandchildren and their grandchildren. Do you see what I mean? So yeah. it's like, to me, it's a little legacy. Well, yeah. they, they wouldn't clearly have picked you as the winner if you didn't have some genuine talent. And not just the singing <laughs> ability, but also, as I was reading about it earlier on, the ability to take on things very quickly, because it was a coaching yes. period that was intense, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it was very intense. Yeah. Yeah. It was a sponge. Uh,